Uh, yes, hello, and welcome to our next installment in our series uh, of programs on playing card games solitaire. Uh, we have a question written in from one of our members, a uh, William uh, from Winfield writes in, uh, uh, hey card guy, how about a solitaire game that is good for kids? If, uh, if you have time, uh, please write back. Well, um, William from Winfield, of, of course I have time to answer a question about solitaire. And in fact, time is the theme of today's game. Uh, it is a uh, unique tableau. It is fast paced and it underscores uh, the basics of how to tell time. The game is called Clock and it is a lot of fun and I think your young one's really gonna enjoy it. So why don't we get started? First, let us remind ourselves a little bit about uh, our deck. So, as you know, we begin with a standard uh, pack of playing cards, 52 cards. Uh, within that pack, of course, as you know, two colors, red and black, uh, four suits uh, within, and of course, 13 ranks uh, per suit. We're going to be focusing on rank uh, for this game. Now, of course, before we play, I always recommend uh, pick up those cards, uh, use the riffle technique if you can, and go ahead and give those a good shuffle for seven times, which is the uh, mathematically proven uh, method for achieving your maximum randomness. So go ahead and do that. Now, let's talk about the layout of our game. Uh, but before we do that, a brief comment about time. Now, uh, currently, you youngsters, when asked what time is it, you think about time something like this. When us old folks know that time used to be measured on something like this. Now, back in the old days, uh, hours of the day were uh, cast onto a circular uh, time face, uh, equidistant, 1 through 12. And that layout is going to be the inspiration of our solitaire game called Clock. So, let's have a look at our tableau. Here is what we will do. We will arrange a tableau like you see here, where you will assemble 13 piles of cards, four cards per pile, 12 in a circle, and one in the center, corresponding with the times of the clock. So you see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. As you know, the jack is the eleventh card and then 12, which is the queen, here at the top in the high noon position. And then dead center is the dreaded king pile. When you begin, you will draw from the king pile, and whatever number you draw, you place that card's rank beneath the hour on the clock. So if you draw a 6, place it below the 6 pile. If you draw a 9, put it below the 9 pile. And if you draw a king, you put it below the king pile, and you want to avoid the kings. On the fourth king, the game is over. Uh, ultimately, you will arrive at an arrangement that looks like this, where all the cards are presented, and you get the hours of the clock, 1 through 12 assembled, before the kings are revealed. Okay? It's actually a lot of fun. It's fast-paced, and once you get into the groove, you'll see that the pace just picks up, and it's great. So let's give it a shot here. Let's go ahead and play a game of clock. Alrighty, so first let us build the clock face. Take off four cards as you see here, place it up at the noon position. This is the way I like to do it. Take four cards for six, take four cards for three o'clock, and then take four cards for nine. And then you can kind of fill in uh, the other hours in between. Here's your one o'clock and your two o'clock. We already have three, so we'll put, uh, put four cards here for four o'clock. Here's your five o'clock position. We already have six, here's seven, and then here's eight o'clock right in there. We have nine, and here comes ten. There's our eleven o'clock pile, and then, of course, in the middle, that's your king pile. Okay? If you're ready, let's start the clock and begin. We first draw off of the king pile, and we have an eight. Now, you know the uh, hours of the clock. Where is the 8 exactly? We'll place that 8 beneath the pile that corresponds with 8 o'clock. We draw off a jack. As you remember, the jack is our 11th card. 
So we're going to place that jack below the 11 position. Oh, and we have another jack. So we'll continue to place that below the 11 o'clock as well. Here's a four. Place it beneath the four o'clock position. Here's a six. And there it goes underneath, if I can get it in there, uh, underneath the six o'clock, just like so. We've drawn a five, and that goes below the five. So you can kind of get the feel for it here, and you'll notice that your pace will pick up as you get into the rhythm. Five beneath the five, three beneath three, ten beneath the ten o'clock position, just like so. Ah, there's another eight. We'll place it below the eight o'clock position here. And now we have a six. We'll place that six down in here. And we pick up an ace that goes beneath our one o'clock hour position. Here's a three beneath the three and a six beneath the six. And you get the feel for what we're trying to do here. No kings yet. Doing well. There's a 10 o'clock there. Uh oh, shoot. There's our first king. So we'll place that king beneath the king pile. Draw a seven. We don't want any more kings here. Here's a three beneath the three o'clock. Uh, jack beneath the 11 o'clock position. You can see I'm moving now. Uh, as you start to get into a rhythm here, four o'clock here, two goes beneath the two, and now a nine, that goes beneath the nine o'clock position. Uh, we'll continue to play. Here comes the queen for high noon. Uh, oh, and another queen for high noon again. We're making some progress here. One beneath the one, queen beneath the noon position there. Oh, there's another nine beneath the nine o'clock. Oh, we've got all of our nines revealed. So, oh, shoot, there's one more king. Oh, and another. That's our third king. We are not looking good. Hopefully, we can make some progress here before that fourth king presents itself. Here's a seven beneath the seven o'clock, just like so. And a two beneath the two o'clock position. Here's a three beneath the three o'clock position. Oh, and unfortunately, that is our fourth king which means that it was a valiant effort, but the game is over. Uh, as you can see, it is a fast-paced game. It's quick to set up. Uh, it underscores the, uh, the kind of the basics of telling time. And as you can see, once you get into the rhythm, uh, it truly is fun for, for all ages. I think it's just super. So thanks. I hope you enjoyed our lesson on solitaire clock just as much as I did. And be sure to, uh, oh, and be sure to check us again next time.